Welcome back to the channel. I am Lady Nika. Um, and with a, just a talking piece, um, a lot of y'all have been hitting me up asking me, you know, why haven't I been on camera and why, you know, why we doing the bubble screens and all of that stuff. And at first, I really didn't want to do too much talking about it because I don't like sympathy. I'm a very prideful woman. And not for nothing, to be honest, I had to come to terms with the shit my damn self. But the reason why we're doing bubble screen right now is because on January 25th, as I was preparing to do my cause review, I began to notice that my left side was going numb. Um, it was like I was having an out-of-body experience, if you will. And my first initial reaction, well, my first initial thought was to panic. But I, I remember from a heart attack I had that one of the things the doctor said is that you have to try to remain calm, especially if you're, you know, not with, not around people. And at the time that the stroke was happening, I was home alone. I reached out to my daughter who got here and I don't know how quick that girl got here. All I don't know is it seemed like I called and said that I felt like my left side was going numb. I didn't feel right and I heard okay mama and the phone clicked and next thing I know she was here. And I was immediately rushed by private vehicle to a local hospital here that I go to and I was admitted. At first they had thought it was a TIA, which is a mini stroke. Later on it was determined that I did have a partial stroke. But the blessing in it all is that I began to regain control over my left side. Um, I was able to start feeling again on my left side almost immediately. However, it was very weak and upon several MRIs and all the other tests that they ran on me in the time that I was there, it was a partial stroke and it has left me, you know, needing rehabilitation for the left side to get it completely back to full strength. So that's the reason why I'm a person that no matter how much pride I got, I mean, no matter how much I'm willing to share with you all, I'm a, I, I'm a woman at the, at the end of the day, and there is this thing called vanity. And to me, now I look a little bit more normal, but over the last week, I just didn't feel as if I looked normal. And I definitely didn't feel normal, and I knew that because of the weakness that still remains on my left side, um, I wasn't feeling like I could hide that, you know. Like I told y'all on several occasions, I've come down here and I've been on YouTube now for almost four years. And some days I am in excruciating pain, but I laugh and I push through because this is something I really like. And it's something that I build bonds with some of you all. Many of you have reached out to me via uh, email and we have built relationships with one another and I didn't want to disappoint you or make you worry some of you would worry if I just disappeared so I continued to do the videos uh, shortly after being able to at least speak without the slur anymore also, I did it because, in all honesty, we all know we get a little chick when we do these videos. You know, if you got a, your numbers at a certain thing, you get money. And I had just came off of being ill with a bad sunburn. Right when I was going back to work, got back in the swing of things, this happens. And it has now caused me to have to be off some more. And even though this is health related, bills don't stop. The light people, the gas people, the water people, that, the cable people, they don't give a damn about me having a partial stroke. They don't care nothing about that. All they care about is collect or disconnect. And so this served as a way for me to not be dependent on other people. Now, will it get me to my goal? Hell no. You two don't pay shit. If you think it do, 
ask somebody, honey. But I feel like as long as I kept doing the videos and, you know, just, just trying to keep myself active and do what I can to make my little monies here and there until I can go back to work full time, then I was cooking. I felt like I was being independent. But a friend of mine reminded me Friday that it ain't no harm in saying that you just not in a position to where you could do it for yourself. It's not normal that I ever ask anybody for anything. And I I mean, I'm talking about people in my real life. I, it killed me to ask for anything. Child, it kills me. Do you hear me? I have suffered in silence so many times because my pride won't let me ask nobody to give me nothing because some people will give from the heart and it's a beautiful thing, but some people will give just to have something to throw back up in your face and y'all seen me go through that down here. And I just wasn't going to come and with the woe is me and help me, help me, help me. I wasn't going to do all of that to y'all. I was not. My pride means everything, but the Bible speaks about a prideful person too. But, you know... At the end of the day, it is what it is. If you want to donate to me, I appreciate it. I mean, I know I'm not on the level as some of these bigger YouTubers. I see, I go into their lives and, you know, I see Super Chat, Super Chat, Super Chat, and all that old stuff like that, and PayPal donations and all of that. And it made me feel a ways. I'm not going to lie, because I'm not shitting on nobody, but just being honest, I see a lot of people break their neck to be supportive to other YouTubers and you barely get a comment. You can't reach out to them like that unless you offering something. I have always had an open door policy on my channel. I put my email address down there that goes directly to me and I didn't put down there serious uh, or business inquiries only. I open up myself and I talk to y'all. I actually will pick up my phone and call some of y'all and have conversations and check on you. And it's kind of, it made me feel a kind of ways because I'm like, okay, I'm this kind of YouTuber and I have to suffer in silence and don't say nothing because you don't want to come across like you begging nobody for that. But then this person over here does this and I know that they don't really... Bottom line is you choose to support who you choose to support. I ain't shitting on nobody just because I feel a ways, but that's just was personally how I feel. Like, I live this shit for real. I wake up every morning. I don't check analytics. I check the comments to see who done said something because I want to communicate to you. I feel like when y'all watch our videos and give us a thumbs up and let the ad play this so that we can get a check, you just blessed me. Who am I not to be a blessing to you if you hit me up and say, hey, I feel this kind of way. Can you help me? Hey, can you call me? Now, it's one lady I haven't called, and it's because the, when I switched over my phone, all my emails didn't sync, and I lost hers. And that's uh, Miss Sagittarius. If you are watching or listening to this video, would you please re-email me again with your number, and I will be more than happy to call you. I don't mind. Because sometimes people watching us, these people be hurting too. And if just for 15 to 20 minutes, I can encourage you, inspire you, uplift you. If I can do that for you for just 15 to 20, 30 minutes on a video, if I can make you laugh and get you away from your everyday stresses and struggles, then I feel like I'm, being, I'm contributing to this world. I believe in teach one, each one. And I believe in being the example that I want to see in other people. And so that's the reason why we y'all have not seen me in over a week almost two weeks now and i'll eventually cut the camera back on and be on camera on screen laughing and joking with you guys but i had to accept what had happened to me and the beauty of it all was that he gave me a second chance to be a normal person as normal as i can be the beauty is 
I will make a full recovery. It may be a few months, but I will make a full recovery. But I'll always have a certain amount of weight. My left side is going to always tire out before my right side. But I walk still. I do exercises with uh, my rehabilitation therapist three times a week. I'm on the road to recovery. But I'm not going to lie and say that I don't stress out a little bit still because even though my faith is strong, I worry. And that's human nature. But that's also where my faith has to strengthen. I'm not, I'm still a work in progress, you know. And so to answer the question for those of you who don't follow me on social media and have no idea why we have reduced down to the bubble screens, that's why. On, Jan on June the 25th, I suffered a stroke and it affected my left side. So there it is. If you want to help me or pray for me all of that is welcome all my contact information is down below in the description box um prayer works prayer changes things i wasn't even going to tell this story until i went over to kelly love's periscope tonight and he was having gospel night over there and he was playing a lot of music and it just was resonating with me and it made me realize that it's okay to say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. It's okay to say, hey, I need help. It's okay to say, you know, guys, I, I, it's going to take me a minute to come back from this one. And I will. I'm going to come back. But for now, I'm giving you the best that I got right now. And I hope you all can understand it. I hope you all will continue to support me and my channel. And I hope all of y'all with positive prayers would pray for me. That's where I've been. And I'm going to go and get off this because I'm starting to feel emotional. So that answers the question that everybody's been wanting to know. Where is Lady Nika? Why is she putting these bubble screens up and things like that? The bubble screens to me relax me. And I watch my own shit. So that's why I do it. But that's where I've been. And, um. Uh, just keep me lifted in prayers and keep positive vibrations over here and I'll be back. I promise I'll be back. I'm not going nowhere, but I'll be back on camera where we can laugh and talk and have ourselves just, you know, old Wayne Dang doodle of a time like we always do over here. I just, you know, the soldier fell down, but she getting back up. Remember the death of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate this video. Comment down below in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys back on the next one. Peace.